Okay, Sai. Am I okay? You're the one who got us into this. You, you fuck. Thieves just trying to help. No need to yell. Yeah. At. Not dragging us into this would have been helpful. No, I'm not okay. I'm the opposite of okay. I'm. Oh, we are fucked. We're a bit worse for wear, but we are alive. For how long? Look at us. Blood. Pain, Please, guys. Broken bed. Stop it. Fair. I never said it'd be easy. We have a solid plan, you said. In and out before anyone realizes we're there, you said. Guys, now stop we're on it. the run from people with space guns built. Shut the hell up! Stop bickering, please. I know we're all pretty shaken up, emotionally and physically, but we got out. We're alive. We have the cargo. Tomorrow we'll be out of the country, and on our way to Nova Scotia we'll be fine. Better than fine, we'll be free. But if we keep fighting, we won't make it through the Republic. We need to stick together. We need to be a crew. Anyway, that's all. You can talk again. Well, that was uncomfortable. I hate it when you do that. What's going on? Pax used her vocals to block us. Oh, I can feel my adrenaline spiking. Fascinating. I Sorry. didn't notice a thing. Your hands there. I know. That's what happens when I get agitated. Pax. I'm sorry. But you really need to chill. Because if anyone Thanks. sees. I know. Shut up. What is this music? I believe the kids call it K-pop music. It stands for Korean popular music. It's K-pop. Just K-pop. Right. K-pops. Pop! For fuck's sake. It's, uh, nice. But maybe turn it down a notch, Sai. Fine. <sighs> How's your arm, Pax? Stings, but I'll survive. <laughs> What if I... Uh, okay. It's nothing, Pax. Barely a scratch. I've seen a lot worse. Thanks, no. Feeling better? A bit. I'm pretending we're on a weekend road trip and not, you know, on the run. I mean, usually we'd stick to coastal roads and not the desert, but at least there are, um, billboards to look at. We should treat this whole experience as the ultimate American road trip adventure. Mm. It is pretty epic, crossing an entire continent. If only we weren't being chased by psychos with space guns. By tomorrow evening, we'll be out of Pacifica. No Puritans in the Republic. Plenty of Nazis, though. Ashes, meat fire. But I guess we'll survive as long as we keep our heads down and never use our box. At least I got this sweet, sweet music to keep my mind off things. You're being very quiet, Theo. I'm counting trucks. 92... Uh, or was that 82? How much further until, you know, the place? Las, uh... La Torre. Another half hour or so. I'm just gonna start over. One. Anything on the Nexus, no? Nothing about a daring heist committed by an unusually well-dressed crew of devilishly attractive thieves. Thanks 
for saving my ass back there. I like your ass. I wasn't going to let anyone mess with it. Speaking of a bloody mess, does the arm still hurt? It's fine. Don't worry about it. We need to have it looked at soon. Before it gets infected. Listen to the boss man, Pax. He knows. Oh, the stones are playing Shoreline tomorrow. Man, we chose the wrong day to be on the run. Do we really have to keep listening to this music side? Yes. You're lucky I love you, because otherwise I'd have to kick you out of this vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see you try, bitch. Look, guys, even though we're on the run and dealing with a lot right now, I'm glad I'm here with y'all. What's going on? Are you dying? Yeah, you're acting very weird, Pax. Just feeling grateful. That's nice. Shut up, Shut Theo. Shut up, Theo. Hey, leave my music alone. I love this song! <laughs> Come on, guys. It's a road trip. You have to sing along. Maybe put the cargo in a safe place? Handle the police how, exactly? You know what cops do to people like us. Sai, please listen to me. Says the woman who never listens to anyone. We're so dead. I'm not going to prison. I wasn't made for prison. Step on it. What just happened? That was way too close for comfort. Are they okay? What, the police? Um, I don't think so, Sai. I caused that to happen. I just murdered people. Not your fault, Sai. Do you think the vehicle had time to report the accident before it went boom? Pacific Authority will know something's happened. You know what cops do to people like us? We're dead! We need to stay calm. Getting caught speeding won't do us much good. We don't know if they were actually chasing us. You still got the cargo, right? It didn't go flying out of my bra, if that's what you're worried about. All of this for that fucking thing! It better be worth it, Pax. You know what? I'm letting this thing drive itself from now on. In fact, I'm never driving again. I'm done. Done! Auto drive engaged. Less than 20 minutes out of Sacramento. We'll make it. Oh, this day is just the worst. And do not tell me we're lucky to be alive. I've had it up to here with being alive.
Ah, oh, she's finally out of the toilet. Not loving the music, gnome. Tough cookies. This is my place. Is that guy just standing out there waiting? Theo, he better be. I don't want him touching anything. Man, I can't get over this fucking apartment, gnome. We should hang here more often. It gets old. I prefer hanging somewhere less ostentatious. I'll take ostentatious to sharing a studio apartment with a woman who never cleans up after herself, Pax. How you cope with it and her, I'll never know. I grew up with an older brother. You just get desensitized. As an only child of wealthy and emotionally distant parents, I never had to deal with another person. Until boarding school, that was. Immediate, life-changing trauma. What is taking her so long? Pax, we should finish up our little discussion. Are you joining us? Fingers off the key tower. That's a collector's item. He is waiting on our decision. So what do you guys think? I don't know, man. This whole thing feels incredibly risky. Riskier than being a deviant in Pacifica. Why are you, of all people, so hot to trot, huh? You're rich, gnome. I mean, look at that fucking view. You don't need the money. You'd be surprised. If anyone discovers what I am, all of this goes away in an instant. Besides, you're my only friends here. What would I do without you? Well, I have good reasons for taking the job. I'm dirt poor and work for table scraps from tech bros. Not to mention that of the three of us, I'm the most likely to be outed. You know what happens when I get stressed. Uh, did you finish your discussion? Not yet, Theo! Jeez, man, hold your fucking horses. What about you, Pax? I mean, do the risks outweigh the benefits? What's my future in Pacifica? Even if I could get a real job, instead of hustling for shitty gigs that pay table scraps. And even if I didn't have to worry about the wrong words spoken in the wrong place at the wrong time, there's still nothing here for me. No papers, no prospects, no family. It's not living, it's just existing. Yeah, it's worth the risk. We won't get another chance like this. When you put it like that, I'd also like a big payday, a ticket out of Pacifica, and to not have to worry about being thrown in jail. Or worse. You think we can trust him? Theo, he's odd. But good odd. Like a dorky dad. I think he's legit. What's he getting out of this? Dude has a job with the Puritans. I'm sure it comes with benefits. Whatever his motivations, Theo's the real deal. And so's this job, Sai. Okay, so it's settled? Yo, Theo! We're ready! So... We're in. All of us. Where do we start? Okay, okay, good. That's... that's good. I'm, I'm glad. We start by renting a car next weekend. Something small and inconspicuous. Paid in cash.
You sure this is the right dome? This is it. La Torre. Oh, thank God. Wait, is that... When you said tour bus, Theo, I was picturing something more low-key. You're looking at a refurbished 1986 Cougar Cruiser. <sighs> Isn't she beautiful? I love it. You, you, raise Jack. You, you, Jack up. What's Come going on? on? Uh, there's lady legs poking out from under the bus. Please assist. I won't be able to hold this vehicle up much longer. It's far beyond my goal tolerance. Take a deep breath. I'm going to try and pull you out. Stop, stop. My arm's cut. You'll break it. I can't breathe. You need to do something. She's freaking out. What do we do? Hello? I can't breathe. Gnome, keep her calm. Working on it. Hey, uh, Luna. How you hey, doing? robot. <laughs> Let's do this. Can breathe. Let's go. Just listen to my voice. We'll be fine. Okay. We need to raise this bus higher. Ah! My shoulder. Sai! What? Hold the bus up. But... Sai, I need you to do this for me. Okay? Mm, fuck! Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> Heavy. Careful! I'm still stuck! Can't you get it any higher? I'm barely able to keep it level. We need that jack, Pax! Try rebooting the UU hub. That piece of crap voice-activated box always bugs out! Is there anything I can do to control the jack from here? Do you know how to gain access to secure the system? Never mind. Uh, Theo, I, need help I think out. this station runs the autonomous systems. I'll check it out. Network's down. That explains why the jack's not working. Luna, where's the wireless router? I have no idea. I'll find it. Look for a big box with blue I know what lights. a router looks like. I think I found it. Hold on. I've I'll got it. Me. Did you call It's your lucky day, Rust Bucket. Did you break the antenna? No wonder the wireless is down. I think we need to adjust this to get a signal again. I think we have network access again. Thank you. I'll give it a try. Got it. Luna, system's rebooted. Voice command should work again. You, you. Let's buck. Pax, maybe focus on the rescue mission rather than the soda pop. <sighs> Finally! Oh, fuck me, that destroyed my back. Hey! Maybe pull me out before the... <sighs> That's the last time I'm ever trusting the UU voice assistant with anything. Good thing you guys showed up when you did. Welcome to the castle. How was the trip? Um... Maybe you should handle this one, Theo. You did what? Lady, we didn't do anything. The truck swerved and... Demolished a Pacific Authority patrol car. It was an accident. Caused by your car! If they weren't looking for you before, I guarantee you they are now. The car's off the grid. It can't be tracked. We can't risk it. You need to leave Pacifica today if you plan to make it into the Republic. That wasn't the deal, Luna. Neither was the exploding You're patrol car, You're kicking us out. Theo. Seriously? That's... You think I wanted this? I'm grateful for the help, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure your mission is successful, but... It's too risky. We need to get you across the border today. Nova Scotia will understand. Theo, there's a weave terminal downstairs. You can make contact with Nova Scotia there. What about the bus? Will it be ready? I don't think there's any damage. The robot will do a full checkup, and we need to load it with supplies for the libraries. As for you, Yellow Hat, we need to get you patched up. You won't make it across the border wearing that shirt, and the open bullet wound. I'm fine. You may be fine, but I've got an investment to protect. Lucky for you, we have a dock below. 
Finish your drinks, folks. I'll get the elevator. Is this going to be a problem, Theo? I don't think so. I just have to check in with Nova Scotia, and then we'll be on the road to Nevada. Do you think we have a choice here, Theo? Unfortunately, no. Luna's probably right. It's risky to stay here long. I trust her. And if the bus is ready, we might as well get an early start. If you trust her, that's good enough for me. Thanks, Pax. The elevator's waiting. We should probably get going. Instead of making a run for it, couldn't your people have used words with the police? I'm not sure if... Uh, my vocals turn my body to literal stone. Given the circumstances, I don't know how that would have helped. And my vox are all about... Uh, Gaslighting. I don't really see an immediate use for that. Civilians have this concept of a normal so that we can command people to do anything. Don't look at me. My vocals are only good for short cons, making other people feel bad. I'm pretty useless in a car chase. Okay. Yeah, I assumed... What happened happened. Now we have to get you guys out of here before the cops come looking. <laughs> You're right. Sure. Just... Sure. Let's get you patched up, Yellow Hat. It's Pax. Well, give me a minute. I need the toilet. Down the corridor to your right, through the kitchen. I'll go with you. I really have to pee. The weave terminal's in here, Theo. And I'll just... stand right here. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Just need the can. Very much the same. I have a pizza in San Francisco. I won't be long. Oh, don't worry. You look. I'll wait. Hey, what do you think of that Luna lady? Can we trust her? Can we talk about it later? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Definitely. So what are you saying exactly? I'm saying Yu Yu has a t Hey! Hello. I'm saying Yu Yu has a terrible track record, and they exclude oh God. gig workers, and you should be investing in Obatol instead. They're never getting a seat on the board. It's a waste of time and money. They have a shot, and I'd love to talk no. to you about an what? exciting no. opportunity. No, I'm not buying into Obatol. Was that? Ugh. Kid, we need to sleep soon. You okay in there? I'm fine. I'll be right out. Come on, Pax. I'm hurting here. Oh, my bladder is about to explode. You said I could go first. What can I say? I'm a... That's got teeth marks, Kit. Hello? Talk into the pizza. We never say no to cold pizza, Kit. What's that? Not...
We'll need a fresh shirt. Not until we've stopped bleeding. What's that? Ah, uh, just talking. Like I said. Ah, uh, just talking to myself. Are you okay in there? Privacy, please. Sure. Seriously, go away. I'm going. I'm going. I hope I won't keep blaming herself for what happened because this is on us, kid. Sai so just happened to be in the driver's seat. Still, maybe it was the best outcome. I don't know what would have happened if we'd been pulled over or if that truck hadn't showed up. You look pale. I recommend medical attention. I'm fine. Probably something I ate. I was talking about the gaping hole in your arm, but okay, sure, yeah. Happy to hear your bowels are good. Maybe get yourself patched up now. Already on my way to get it fixed. You know, you're not alone in this. You have a lot on your shoulders. Literally. And after what we went through last night... Don't worry, I can handle it. I'm not your responsibility anymore. I'm just trying to be here for you. I can do that, you know? Even if we're not sharing a bed. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'm happy you're here, No, It means a lot to me. I didn't mean it's to. It's okay. Thank you. Go get your arm patched up. You don't want to end up with a cheap plastic substitute like this idiot. connection issues. Nova Scotia hasn't replied yet either. You sent a message through the Greenland number? Might want to try the computer. Why would the weave be quicker than satellite? You said there were connection issues. Both channels have been spotty. Can't hurt to cover all options. Okay. Are you feeling better? Let's get you patched up. What are you doing? Contacting New Jerusalem. We need to know their library is still online before we leave Pacifica. So far, nothing. Luna, you're sure your line's active? Very sure. Hmm. Anything from New Jerusalem? Started, Not yet. But the data rate is low. It's like communicating with the moon. Your name's Pax, right? I'm Luna. Let's check the damage. Hold still. This might hurt. Where'd you get a dock? Same place that's helping you across the Republic. Nova Scotia pulled some strings or paid some bribes. I don't know what we'd do without it. We get a lot of people coming across from the Republic and some are in a bad state. I've seen kids as young as four or five. Tragic stuff. 
The doc's a literal lifesaver. There's mostly tissue damage with some vascular trauma. Bone looks intact. Doc will get you patched up in no time. Will my arm recover? Should be good as new. This machine's top of the line. Puritan tech. As soon as we're done here, we need to load the bus with supplies for the libraries. What are these supplies? Books, magazines, political pamphlets, care packages for the libraries. Materials forbidden inside the American Republic. The librarians will be happy to see you. It's lonely, being a safe harbor in a fascist storm. Sorry about making presumptions earlier. We don't see a lot of divergence these days, and that leaves a lot of room for conspiracies to grow. We prefer anomals. I apologize. Anomals. I think the last one to pass through was two, three years ago. He was like you, could make people bend to his will with just words. What do you call it? Mesmerism? Mesmerism is what most people think of when they hear deviant. In actuality, that's very rare. Most anomals have more narrow skill sets. I know next to nothing about anomals, but I'd like to learn more. This might sting again. Ouch! <sighs> Wound's been cleaned and sealed. We just need to give Doc enough time to close it up properly and make it look... What's happening, Luna? Could be a false alarm, could be trouble. You folks stay here. Don't go anywhere. Pax, let Doc finish up. And please, get yourself a shirt from the break room table. You can't cross the border looking like a serial killer. Are those... Pacific Ops. <sighs> if it's just the cops. No. Look, a purity security detail. What do we do? We stay calm and we stay put. We knew this might happen. If they decide to search the place, we'll be safe in the library. La Torre's designed to hide fugitives. Maybe let the crew know what's happening? Soon as the cops leave, we should be on our way. Welcome visitors. Where's Sai? She's still in there? I don't know what she's up to. Sai, everything okay? Okay? The fucking alarm just went off. No, things are not okay. Just... Just let me stay in here. Uh, yeah, that's not an option. <laughs> hey, you hungry? Am I hungry? You're asking me if I'm hungry? I have jerky. Strong ones. I'm having a mental health crisis here and you're trying to feed me jerky! Okay, I see how this might look bad, so I'll just hold on to this jerky for later. You are the worst. I'm not talking to you. Smooth. I guess it's time to bring out the big guns. I guess. Sai? What? What do you want from me? Pull yourself together. Ow! Seriously? You're stronger than this. I expect more from you. Uh, you're being a real dick, Pax. Do you think this is the way to change my mind? No. <sighs> Fine. It's not a big deal. We're all good here, yeah? Pax pushed me, and... Yeah, but not really. It's just words, Sai. No one's hurt. We're all fine. Fine. I know I should be mad at you, Pax, but right now, I just want to get out of here and forget this whole thing. <sighs> Thanks for the verbal tranquilizer. I know what you're doing, but it feels good every time. Just don't get too used to it. 
Are we good? Are you good? I don't know, man. It's been a rough day. Why did the alarm go off earlier? You didn't tell her? Uh, just false, a uh, false, uh, alarm. We need help with some boxes. Yes, this is exactly what I need right now. Some boxes to lift. I hate that you're not joking, Sai. This is degrading. Like now. Grab one of the boxes on your way up. We need the bus packed and ready. Uh, our passports, visas, invitation letter. I think that's everything. It'll get you safely across the Republic border, but after that... We're on our own. Until we reach the Salt Lake Library. What if your visitors decide to revisit? There are hundreds of farms. Are they going to investigate all of them? Once you've left, we have nothing to hide. Aside from the one patrol car ten minutes ago, the roads look clear. The quicker you leave Pacifica, the better. We'll be on our way across the border shortly. I believe that was the final box, Pax? Yup. And you have the, uh... Cargo? It's safe with us. With me, Theo. All right. We just need to... Hey! Mira! Will you guys quit it? Did you not want us to practice? <laughs> Check this out, Gnome! <laughs> nice. Hey, what's the golem doing on the bus? You mean your driver? Uh, we're supposed to have a human driver, Theo. Luna? She won't be here until the morning. So, one of us drives the bus. It's not rocket science. You won't be allowed into the Republic. We need someone with the license and skill set packs. Ma'am, I'll be happy to serve as your driver. I want to assure you that I'm fully capable of operating this vehicle. My software is also- Don't touch me! Hey. What was that? Vox wash back. Pax used words on the robot, but that doesn't, doesn't work. work. Not on machines. Don't touch me again, Tin Can. I was only trying to- Okay. Robot, she gave you an instruction. Noted. Look, I'm- I'm sorry. It's the robot? or nothing. It's just the driver packs. The robot saved Luna's bacon earlier. This isn't... Don't worry about it. As I was saying, the robot saved Luna's No, hey, I... It's okay. So, uh, like I was saying... You're it's not... It's not a problem. Moving on. The okay. Robot... I... Latest intel says the 80 is cleared to the east, all the way to the Republic border. I'm sorry I have to send you on your way, but we have a whole network to protect. This is not just about you. It's about the libraries and keeping the weave operational. Without it, the resistance is dead. I understand. Good. Get your cargo out of Pacifica and through the Republic to Nova Scotia, and your name will be in the history books. We're not out to make history. We just want to do this job and get paid for it. Fair enough. Nice shirt, by the way. I see you're still here. Welcome on board. Please find your seat. Our luggage is on board? All of it, ma'am. This is pretty sweet, Theo. Thank you. This uh, seat's mine. Not sharing. Plenty of room. No reason to sit on top of each other. In that case, vintage feels. Love it. Hmm, I'm not hating this. So, what do we call her? Cool. The bus. They need a name. Bus? <sighs> You do that on purpose, don't you? Hot dog! Next stop, Nevada.
Nova Scotia won't be happy about this, Pax. So we let them know we're taking a different route to through. To do the that, I need access to the Weave. And that won't happen until we get to Salt Lake. We had a plan. Your plan. And it's not like you've been forthcoming on everything. Like the contents of our cargo. I told you. I don't actually know what's in the data we hijacked from Purity. Nova Scotia's been tight-lipped about that. For good reason. The less we know, the better. You know what our mission is. Transport the cargo to Nova Scotia. Ask no questions. This was our plan. We're a crew. We're in this together. What happened to being in charge? You can't be one of us and be the one to call the shots. If we're really in this together, it means taking a different route across the Pacifica border into the Republic. Informing Nova Scotia about the detour is not our only problem. Given what happened this morning, the longer we stay in Pacifica, the riskier it gets. And if we don't show up for our booking in Winnemucca Tuesday night, we'll be in violation of our visa. We must get to Chicago by the 23rd, or we'll risk being stranded in the Republic. We're ahead of schedule, so why not make an extra stop on our way to Nova Scotia? We'll still make it to Nevada on time. Uh, maybe. But I planned this route weeks ago. Now I don't know where we're going. Or why. I've accounted for unforeseen delays, but this one didn't have to be. Fine. I'll tell you why we need to go north. Just go sit down. All right. Yo, Theo. What you up to, my man? Perusing the map. Perusing? What's with the old-timey paper hey. map? We're still in Pacifica. Don't you have your mobile? I destroyed my mobile yesterday. Hey. Uh. Hey, uh... Everyone, listen up. What's happening? Shh. Speech. I know the original plan was to cross the border east into Nevada. And from there, on to Utah and the Rockies. But we'll be taking a different route north, through Liberty, Oregon. Before Liberty? we- Liberty? I would actually like an explanation. I concur. Liberty's where my sister lives. Your sister? Did you know she had a sister? I did not. Ziggy's... She's one of us. A normal. I... <sighs> we can't leave without her. So, we're going to Liberty to get her. Why didn't you tell us this earlier? Why didn't you tell me you had a sister? I didn't think you'd agree to it, Theo. If you told me it was because of family, I would have. Hey, none of us have been home in ages. What makes you so special? I guess picking up her sister makes us a bit different. If we're detouring for Pax's family, why not drop in on my parents at the same time? You know that's not the same, Sai. This is my last chance to say goodbye to moms. We're just picking up my sister, and then we'll continue the journey. We transport the cargo across the Republic to Nova Scotia, we get our money, and then it's up to each of us to decide what's next. Right. Plan on springing any more surprises on us? No. Fine. Fuck it. Let's go to Liberty. At least one of us gets to go home. What about the plan? We're just abandoning that? Whatever. It's not like anyone's listening to me. What was that, Theo? Nothing.
We're the aliens. We're the refugees. We're nothing like, yeah, we're nothing like you. the dust born this bug is airborne we're the new porn our kind is new Another day, another dollar for a weird science experiment. It's not a science experiment, it's a linguistic test. Dude, I have wires strapped to my head. I think this counts as weird science. <laughs> Fair point. Ready anytime. So, you just want me to pick symbols again? Same procedure as last time. When you see a prompt, push a button. Okay. Let's do this. How do you feel? I press some buttons. What am I supposed to feel? Well, that's what we're here to find out. It's mostly about those electrodes, not so much the buttons. So, what are the electrodes telling you? I don't know yet. We'll have to run this data through the... Okay, I deserve that look. I'll tell you more once you've studied the screen and pushed one of the buttons. We've talked about the proto-language before, how it helps you vocalize. I'm gaining insight into how your vocals work, how you're instinctively using the proto-language to circumvent mental barriers, effectively bypassing the ears to get to the brain. You make it sound so intrusive. It is intrusive. It, it is brutal, and, and that's what makes it so incredibly fascinating. What's even more fascinating is, is how every anomal has access to different proto-language stems, giving them, you, different abilities. We know that's because of the broadcast, but, but, but we have no idea why it only happened to a, a tiny percentage of those who were exposed. Have you ever... Do you know of any anomal who's learned new vocals? New vocals? You mean post-broadcast? I don't think that's possible. According to our research... It is. When I was a kid, I had a device that let me record echoes and mess around with the recordings until it played this strange chant. And then... It's how I learned to block and trigger people. <laughs> That's... But if what you're saying is true, it would change everything. This device would be extremely valuable. I don't have it, but I might be able to get it. Pax, if it works the way you describe it, Nova Scotia would pay a fortune for it. I'm glad you trust me enough to tell me. And I'm happy you agreed to participate in these tests. I came for the money and stayed for the company. Uh, Pax, um, <laughs> I was 
thinking after we're done here today, maybe we could go out uh, for a drink or um, like a... Are you okay? Pack. Pack! Tree. I've seen it before in the stillness, and now I'm dreaming about it, which makes sense, I guess. It's whispering. What's it say? We need to get closer. Doctors and scientists lie to us. They don't tell us the truth because they want to enslave us by putting transmitters in vaccines. It's all part of the New World Order's plan for a global totalitarian <laughs> everyone. We're approaching the Pacifica Republic border control. Pax, you awake? Are we sure there's no warrant out for our arrest? We'll soon find out. Oh, that's reassuring. Revo trucks go loopy all the time, Sai. I'm sure the cops think it was just an accident. Passing through the Pacifica border check. Hey, why did we stop? Automated border control. Normal procedure. Uh, guys? Guys! Is that... Oh, fuck! You might want to, uh, drive. We're still being scanned. Fuck that! Let's just go! Gate won't open until the scan's complete. But as long as the vehicle ID isn't flagged in the system, it should let us through. Won't they catch up with us? They have flying ships. The Puritans can't follow us into the TMC. It'd be an act of war against the Republic. We've received the all-clear by the Pacific Authority. Seriously? Does this mean we're home free? Not yet. We have to actually pass through the DMC and across the Republic border. And the Puritans can't follow? They're banned from the Republic. Like I said, it'd be an act of war to even enter No Man's Land. Justice has no love for the Puritans. And the feeling's mutual. But won't the Republic border guards wonder why a punk rock band on a tour bus is being pursued by Puritans? It might just count in our favor. But we'll soon find out. As far as they're concerned, we're just a band touring the Republic. And not a crew of dangerous criminals making their daring escape from Pacifica. Uh, nice scenery. A 
It's no man's land. Trespassers are shot. What? Are they gonna shoot at us? We're not trespassing. As long as we stay on the bus, we're safe. I think. We're entering the American Republic. Welcome to Mordor, fellow hobbits. I've been hailed by Justice Border Patrol. I'm required to stop the vehicle. Oh, fuck! Normal procedure. Let's not give them a reason to detain us. Remember our cover. We're a punk rock band touring the provinces. Oh, we are so fucked! License to operate this vehicle? I'm transmitting the requested information now, sir. I need to speak with a human, not a machine. Good afternoon, officer. Four humans, one robot. Papers, please. Passports, visas, invitation letter. What's up with the corporate motorcade back there? Are you associated with the Puritans? No. No, sir. I, I think there was a, a, some sort of border inspection. Nothing at all to do with us. Your purpose for entering the Republic? We're a band. A band? M music. Punk? Uh, rock music? We're touring the provinces. Uh, huh. You'll find that it's all been approved One by moment, the, sir. Everybody off the bus. What's the problem? Now. I suggest we treat this as a warm-up gig. At least no one's paying to hear us. Huh? How bad can it be? I regret every choice that led me here. <sighs> what do we even play? We haven't practiced! I scribbled down some lyrics for that tune we jammed on last week. What the fuck does that even mean? Whenever you're ready. Just follow my lead, guys. warm up before each gig. <laughs> you caught us by surprise. Well, whatever. You may want to pick a different song next time. Folks in the Republic don't much like politics with their entertainment. What's the name of your band? We're the Dustborn. Remember your travel permit's only valid in the provinces for no more than 30 days. Overstay your permit or try crossing the Rockies into the Heartlands, you'll be arrested. 
You're in the American Republic now. Pacifica laws don't apply. Mind how you go, and who you associate with. There are deviants everywhere. That wasn't exactly good, was it? For a band that hasn't practiced in weeks, I'd say we did okay. We got through it, but we need to do better. But those lyrics, Pax, a bit risque for the Republic, aren't they? Who listens to the lyrics? You sure the Puritans can't get to us, Theo? Very sure. The Republic may not be safe. We're in justice territory, but we've seen the last of the Puritans. Pacifica would never allow them to cross. They'd end up in a shooting war with the Republic. Okay, well, you're the expert. That was not great. Good enough, those twits. At least we made it into the Republic. Hey. What are you reading? The Marilyn Monroe story. Who's that? Who's... Seriously. Seriously. Jesus, Pax. Movie star. JFK's second wife. America's first lady, Madam Justice. I try to avoid justice history. I... I don't even know what to say. She's only one of the most important figures of the 20th century. She dead? Is she? No! And that's not the point. She's actually still alive, 104 and ticking. And she looks fabulous. Cool. Enjoy your book about an old lady who got famous for being married to an old dead dude. I hate you. Sup? You can breathe again. Girl, that was intense. We got through it, but fuck me, that was a close call. Look, my hands are still shaking. Oh, it's a fucking miracle I didn't turn into a statue out there. <sighs> but you didn't, and we made it. We're in the Republic. The Republic! <laughs> Wait, why are we happy about that? All right. Who's that? Huh? What do you mean, who's that? It's Gnome. I'm kidding. It's good. Keep working at it. Maybe someday you'll be a professional. Ah, oh, hilarious. Yeah? Yes? Hey, do you want to talk about the detail? No, not now. We can discuss things once we've made camp. Hello, ma'am. Spotted any campsites yet? I'm keeping my eyes open, ma'am. I'll let you know as soon as I find one. It's almost unreal that it's over. <laughs> so much time spent obsessing about the details and we basically walked in and out of purity. Two stupid mistakes. Busted shoulder and a small cut, but that's it. <laughs> I'd call it luck, but truth is, it's all Theo. Say what you want about the man, kid. He knows what he's doing. He can organize. And... Now, all we have to do is bring the cargo to Nova Scotia, get our payout, and start a whole new life. I expect that's the last we'll ever see of Pacifica Kid. I figured I'd feel relief, but instead the feeling's bittersweet. They call it a nation of opportunities. And I squandered every single one. But to be fair, we never stood a chance. Refugee, anomal, high school dropout, 
We survived the only way we could get. Odd jobs and short cons. At least in Pacifica, we could be invisible. Blend into the background. It's going to be a lot harder to do in the Republic. Did you want something? Theo really kept his cool during the inspection. That's because he's a skilled secret agent. I'm not a secret agent. That's exactly what a secret agent would say. Cold as ice. He's probably assassinated hundreds of people. I haven't assassinated anyone. Right. Sure. Of course. Secret agent. Theo, did you know Marilyn still walks five miles every day? Why? Why would I know that? You're not a Monroniac. Here we go, kid. Our route. So, we're going from Pacifica through Oregon and Nevada where we have our first booked gig. To New Jerusalem, Utah, and one of the Weave's secret libraries. After that, we play another gig before crossing into the Rockies. To Boulder, Colorado, and our second library. Then north, through South Dakota, Minnesota, to Chicago. In a meeting with Theo's contact. And from there, into Canada and Acadia to Nova Scotia. Nearly 4,000 miles on roads less traveled to a place we've never heard of in service of a shadowy employer. I'm not sure this was a great idea, kid, but you can't argue with a paycheck or the chance for a new start far away from this wretched place. According to the signs, there's a campsite coming up. Is there a coffee shop? It's a campsite, Gnome, not the Embarcadero. As soon as we've parked, I'll start preparing dinner. I'll take care of the fire. And I'll, uh, watch? Hey, that's my job. I'll give it to you, Theo. This is, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Primitive. Rustic. Cozy. Cozy's the word. This is cozy. Isn't rustic the same as primitive? Rustic is romance. Primitive is an insult. Primitive is sexy. Rustic is your dad's man cave. I'm telling you, the word's cozy. Cozy is like... comfortable socks. What's a man cave? Oh, Theo. The things I can teach you. Based on our performance earlier today, I suggest we run through a couple of songs after dinner. Remember, we're booked to play at Pete's Pool Hall day after tomorrow. Huh. I think Pax is writing some new material. Maybe we can try that out. Oh, that smells so good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starving. How do I tell when my sausage is done? The locals call it a dog, Sai. I prefer sausage. Oh, we know. What is that? <laughs> oh, funny. I don't get it. Oh, you sweet, innocent man. Thank <laughs> you. 